Cloud9 showing that they have plenty of fights still left in them as Leviathan are licking their wounds as they get ready for map number three. But they can't wait too long. It's going to be coming up real soon. And it's going to be a good one here. Golden Boy alongside with Mimi. And the champ is here. We're joined by Alexis from Shopify Rebellion. Alexis, it's good to see you. Well, you're in the screen here. She's in the wall. You know, she's in the wall. You're in the walls. But how's everything been? It's been a minute since I saw you. I think last time was in Berlin. Uh, everything's been good. Yeah, one champs. But at the moment, I am yep. uh, shaking on the verge of throwing up every four minutes and uh, not well. OK, all right. We'll get to that in a second. They want to ask your, your thoughts, though, on, on that matchup, because it seems like that reaction's coming from the matchup itself. How are you holding out over there? <laughs> Um, I'm okay. Honestly, I was a little nervous, more nervous first map, maybe because Ospos was just farming, Fine. dropping yeah. a nuke. <laughs> um, but the next map was really, really good for C9. So maybe I, I won't throw up today. We'll see. <laughs> okay. that, that's a good change. I, I, I want to ask, obviously, you're very familiar with, with Moose. He's finally gotten his big tier one opportunity here. So for, for people maybe not familiar with him, not familiar with that whole journey, I, I, I'd really love to hear kind of like, what did it take for him to get here now on this Cloud9 team? Well, he was playing Counter-Strike for a long time, and then he swapped over to Valorant, and, you know, he got his, his start with SR, his main start. Um, and then he's been taking a little break, and now he's on C9, and this is his first franchising debut. So I'm, I'm really proud of him, and he's really excited to be how, here. How did all of that come about? Uh, um, just, you know, from the outside in, it just seemed like, oh, Moose is on the roster. Whoa, that's random. Did, I remember seeing that name a little while ago. Uh, so, like, was it just a long conversation that they had, or, like, long talks that they had about getting on the roster? What was the... Uh, do you have any inside scoops you can give us, basically? <laughs> well, after SR, he was playing on YFP, and he says that that's one of his favorite teams he's ever played on. And if you watch the Tier 2 scene at all, he was farming with that team. Yeah. They, yeah. He had a good game pretty much every game that he played, dropping 30s on Viper and KJ. So I think C9 probably saw that, and when Whippy was dropped, that Moose was probably the first person that they looked at. Can you give me, give me like, the, the pitch? What's he like as a person? What, what does he add to a team besides just being sick in the server? <laughs> well, honestly, on the outside, he's pretty, like, cool, like, cool, calm, collected, like, very chill guy. But in-game, he's very hype. Like, he's actually... I think probably the hype man for the team, okay. along with Oxy. Like, he, he's very funny, and he gets along with everybody really well. Yeah, well, that's, uh, you know, good to hear. I think, uh, you know, with Cloud9 picking up with this win as well, I'm sure that they're going to be quite excited going into Map 3. Also do want to get your, I guess, thoughts on uh, the series as a whole, because it has been an incredible start here for both teams, really, and from your professional opinion. Like, what are you seeing from Leviathan that, you know, kind of has you excited? Is there anything you're seeing on the C9 side that has you excited? What's standing out to you? Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm probably not the best person to ask for a professional analysis because I am just watching Moose on the minimap. But I will say, <laughs> first I map... I respect that, dog. <laughs> first map, Icebox, it's hard to shut down Ospos. Like, he is just an insane player. Like, yeah. there's not much you can do when this guy is dropping 30 kills. Like, there's not even a lot of anti striding you can even do when this guy is farming. Yeah. Um, but second map, it just felt like maybe Leviathan's A was kind of weak. It seemed like C9 was rushing A a lot and having a lot of success in that area. So... Yeah, that, that was my analysis. No, not bad, not bad. Yeah. Anything else? I mean, it, it looked great uh, in that second half there. Uh, Alexis, I wanted to give you the chance while we have you here. Do a little plug. Obviously, you, you're just a world champion coming in uh, after winning, what, stage one already for Game Changer, stage two coming up. Anything you want to plug or shout out while you're here? Um, well, first things first, I love Moose. I love you, Caleb. I hope you win. Um, no. And also, no, uh, no. watch me. I'm co-streaming the games right now, so if you want to come hang and watch me simp, um, it's at Alexis. I respect that. Get Are we going to get to see there. you come to L.A. ever? Yeah. For one of the games? Oh, yes. Absolutely. 100%. I'll have my own little sign. I'll have this little plushie with me, probably. No. Oh, is, did, wait, is that a Moose plushie? out with a plushie, too? I thought I saw yeah. one. Yeah. This... This was my plushie that I had at Champs Finals as well and for GC. That's oh. so sweet. Well, that is just freaking adorable. <laughs> All right, Alexis, well, thank you so much for your time. It's always a pleasure uh, to see you, whether it's in this server, here for an interview, in maybe walls. one day in the walls. Maybe one day I'll get you on the <laughs> analyst desk. Uh, can I Can I goad you to come here and drop some analytical Heck stuff? Yeah. All right, I'm all down. right. Consider it a plan. Okay, well, we'll talk to you soon. Take care, Alexis. Thank you, Lexi. Looking forward to seeing you uh, out there in GC. All right, and of course, we want to give a massive shout out to all the Game Changers players. Don't forget, uh, you got, what is it? Uh, the open qualifier, open qualifier.
second qualifiers. one going on, or the first one for the second series. There's yes. going to be two more, and that's just for North America. I Let's focus up on the rest of the series. Yeah. We got a scent coming up. Le Vuitton losing a map already here. I think a surprise. A lot of people were expecting this one to be a 2-0. Yeah. They were pretty favored in this series, and now C9 really have a chance to kind of make something incredible happen. And let's go ahead and bring in the rest of the peanut gallery here. We got Bala, <laughs> we got we got Ender. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and talk about what we should be expecting going in to map three. Because if you would have told me at the beginning of the series C9 got a chance, I would have been like, I don't know. Osmos just dropped 30. So this kind of mixes things up a little bit, Ender. I, I'm still just in shock that Bala thought that Lev were going to be the clean number two team in the league. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm I'm that. <laughs> Am I being gaslit? <laughs> 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 All right. Well, let's see, though, what we're going to be getting into this one as we get ready for map three. Now, Mimi, there is a lot of pressure here on Leviathan because this is a team, again, a lot of hype, always. The names on the lineup, you know, world champion, so on and so forth, and whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's, though, dial in on this C9 team who kind of seem poised to find an upset victory, potentially, if Lev isn't careful. Yeah, that second half, I thought we saw a lot of their win conditions coming online. It yeah. looked a lot stronger from Oxy. I think their synergy in a lot of those retake rounds was really good. I was especially impressed on that sunset with, on their defensive side, a lot of those floods that were coming out. It was really reminiscent of the success for Leviathan map one. So I think kind of carrying that energy into a map like Ascent that we're probably going to get standard stuff, but we yeah, have seen yeah. more weirdness these days. But yeah, it looks like it was for Cloud9 is. locking in that normal comp. Oxy back on the jet. This is a great chance for him to carry that momentum. I agree with you, but also the problems are back now because Ospos, we're going to switch over to the other side in a second. Yeah. Going to be locking in the jet, like certainly, right? We're not going to be playing the Phoenix, so the op is going to be back oh, online, Phoenix. right? Like, uh, oh, so nice. we're certainly what? Playing the jet. <laughs> okay. What happened, Ender? I thought we were certainly going to see the so jet. Playing, say, I, am I watching the Pittsburgh Knights in 2021? It Okay. This is wild. Honestly, so the raise is something I'm a big fan of on this map, especially on attack. Because of the range you can get on your satchels, it's not just the smoke dash small entry agent you can have. It's a, you can double satchel all the way down catwalk into tree. So expect some very explosive, very far reaching dive plays from Osboss. The stage yeah. lets you do some interesting stuff with your hits. You can be splitting into sites, throwing up the wall on one side when you're going through mid into B, going through tree into A. And on your defense, you can flood retake with that wall as well. The, the comp leans so, so heavy stall. It's going to be tough to break in for C9. This is going to be quite fascinating to see how the chips land here. Let's send it back over to your casters to call the final map. It's, of course, going to be Riv and Van Silly. This is definitely an exciting map. Three, actually an exciting look of Leviathan now and split one of the Americas for the I, BCT this year. I'm wondering. Yeah, because we haven't seen some sunset. Now they came out with sunset. Maybe it wasn't the best sunset, but now you're coming out with a scent with a brand new comp with a lot of question marks. You're playing solo initiator. There's no scan. There's no heart sentinel like, yeah. aside from the sage. How do you really hold the sights? This is all going to be answered now in this third and final map. And C9 kind of maybe just absorb this. They get to kind of play default play. This might actually be right up their alley for coming into this game unless, unless Leviathan are really ready to torch the map with this one. I'm interested to see how they do use the raise, how they actually get themselves into position. We just heard Ender talking about how much easier it is to get around the map there with timing being in your favor and how fast raise can move. Here, it does look like they'll focus mid a little bit, and they'll be met with two from C9 if they choose to push through. Yeah, definitely big control on middle, and of course, a Viper in their composition, but in the hands of Calm, so there is no signature Silva on this map for Leviathan. And with the early control that they were trying to make, the early noise that they were making on middle, pivoting all the way back towards the A site. And look at that setup on the A side for C9, though. I was going to say that. Exactly. That's crazy. You expect Tex to run up and throw a wall up, and then everybody maybe to hide underneath because Sage can block off heaven. Well, everybody underneath is going to get cooked if they try <laughs> to get there. So, yeah, really cool preemptive little setup. Expecting the Sage to push through and a lot of that sight to be gained by Leviathan. Now you have two brains to try to learn on the fly how they could play against this Leviathan lineup. Both Rooney and Vanity calling to start pivoting towards the ace side as a knife gets so much information thrown by Zeppa. Mm -hmm. That pivot is out there. 33 seconds left on the clock, but middle is open for them to pivot back if they want to. Leviathan now commits inside A to start. 
There's a Nano Swarm's Paranoia out. There's that Flood Retake Counter Paranoia. First Blood from Zeppa traded out by Leviathan, who takes the advantage now. Moose staying on the top, waiting for his teammates. More Jiggles out from the attack as there's 13 seconds left until we finally start the plot down on A. Boxy and Rooney with Sheris. Rooney alone denied by King. As once again, it continues with the pistol round for Leviathan for every single match. Lev grabs one for themselves and absorbing that waterfall from C9 right away. You saw Moose, as soon as they heard things in the site, he activated the mollies underneath, meaning nobody could get under there. They weren't trying to kill people under there. They were trying to get the fight in the front of the site, and that's what Leviathan gave them. Literally facing each one, maybe double swing, almost triple swings to make sure C9 could not make it off of heaven. So, one round in, Aspas with a Vandal, why not? Making sure he hits those shots. He's gonna start clearing his own space here as they get over towards A. And a knife was thrown all the way out from the yeah. spawn to get the contact there for C9 and information, and he still wanna gamble towards B. I respect it, it's an equal round for C9. And they're hoping from that knife that Leviathan's gonna pivot over there. But right, instead, oh, contact play, walking up, Rooney with the wide swing and punish right away, opening things up and giving a chance here for Leviathan to walk in for the plant. So what's their weight? What's their feel good on going in? Another peak maybe? Oh, they're, they're actually just letting Mazzino head in. And dies. Spike yeah, down. yeah. <laughs> Close to the alt orb, that's gonna get him one. But yeah, going in, pretty confident on just making Come it into the site without too much here. util. And a big flank watch coming in here by Com as the rest of C9 try to get in through tree. We're in great positions here for Leviathan. Looks in the end here that it should be a confident round win on the pulse plant for the attack, converting the pistol round win. Second smoke going out towards the tree. C9 looking for an opportunity to jump together outside of the smoke. But there's a late lurk coming in on the other end. There's the bunny hop across for both. And there's a surprise on the other end. So Vanity is left alone. Will probably save at least a paranoia and die to spike. But yeah. you, you mentioned it before. Leviathan executed inside this A site. What's the play? What do we want to do? And that's that's the nature of the composition that they currently have. They don't have an owl drone. They don't have a knife to really try to scan out that site. So yeah. it really has to come down to like, okay, well, let's just run in. <laughs> Which is exactly what Mazzino just did. Interesting stat as well. Yeah, very interesting. See if this one is the one that turns the tide of the nine map losing streak. Already starting off good, but it doesn't mean anything right now with the way C9 has been playing the mid game of these of the series, I should say. Guns are there for C9 on the bonus. It's been a, sh a cat play, it's been A. So a third time towards A with this look, but Calm is on a very heavy lurk to make sure C9 get no pressure towards B or mid as King has something to say about it. Yeah, and the bonus round. Vandal connects onto Oxy. And of course, you saw at the beginning here, Vanity was holding with the Judge, and if you've seen Sadak do this with the Judge at this spot, of course you'll see Vanity do it. One of the good guys here with the with the shotguns with the Bucky, and there's that contact, at least on the top mid. At M3, Rooney is forced to fall back, 51 HP remaining. There is that wall for the crossover, and Moose will have right, to try team. to anchor pretty much right, solo team. at this point. Two Nano Swarms already popped out. Recon Dark to try to get info. No spray opportunity coming out here from the spawn. So Moose playing the off angle, hit by two flashes, and Mazina wall bangs him. Tough spot to play, trying to catch him off guard for maybe one, two of the drop in. The util is dumped into sight though. Leviathan is not taking any chances here. There's a null command or an ultimate here for Mazino to stop something from coming in, but it does not look like they'll need any of it. Yeah, definitely he not. Should be saved up for now. Last three saved up. That's the third round coming in for Leviathan, converting a bonus here, which was still, again, pretty strong. They had the Vandal coming up from King to contact first against Oxy on middle. But you're definitely seeing right now the wall to cross over, trying to run bodies in, wall banks, double flashes yeah. to take sight. So that's how you do it. You don't get scans, but you, hopefully you blind your opponents when you're moving in and you have the protocol for the trades. Vanity at least upgrades for the exit. Spike will go off. And the lurk comes in from Calm once again. Of course. Of course. <laughs> but no upgrades for him. No upgrade, <laughs> no. 
Lev with a different look each round so far. That one encroaching on mid quite heavily. They get a nice dink onto Rooney. Free space there and taking sight with a good amount of utility. See this again. <laughs> so everybody lane. You don't usually get that many people lane, right? The site's being held. Somebody's front. They keep control of entry if somebody's going to swing in from main, but no. That was a train on the tracks from the Vieton going through that lane side. A bit of the same look here as they start a default portion of the map. And they say, yep. <laughs> so we're just going to slow and run out of this one. With the rifle that Vanity saved, gives it to Oxy, so he gets forward position now towards main. Getting ready to double swing with the support from a Stinger. There's that first nice little tap onto Aspas. That's a star duelist for Leviathan now down yeah. early. That's a huge frag too, because you have a hero Phantom and Vandal for Oxy there. Everybody else is on a very low buy, getting forced into this. Mazino's gonna be the one running in, just basically being a cypher camera. Ooh, the and beat. there's that Pittsburgh knife play that Mimi was talking about. <laughs> Maybe even a little bit of a zip wall up to look inside the window, but to decide otherwise, walking back towards A. The lurk from King trying to find an opening. He knows that a knife is close. Oh, the tap there onto Vanity. Miss comms coming through, but at least it's a nice bait to get that kill. And now Zeppa will have to try to anchor towards the back of the generator. The wall across now, a pop flash to slow things down, giving nope. a chance for two players to rotate up towards left. the A Heaven. Storming into sight now. Zeppa comes into contact, gets the trade off as Oxy falls. Last one to go is going to be Mazino. Shock dart lands, no chip damage. He gets a plant down with 13 seconds left. There's a big lurk coming out right now from Moose. So Rooney's just trying to hold it out. Because that wall was up here by the stage. He's just trying to leak around it. Oh. Just saw him, picks him off. Elisa gets information from Moose who swings out. And you could breathe, Alexis. Moose wins that 1v1. And C9 will finally score. <laughs> Great job. Moose has been so steady when he's been called upon in these plays. The lurks as well from Sunset here now onto Killjoy for the Ascent play and gives Cloud9 their first round. Ultimates are really on deck too as well for Cloud9. There's just a few orbs as we rewatch this round one more time. They are standing. And, and Moose had to hit that shot first. Mazino was kind of clued in to what that play was going to be <laughs> based on that dart, right? He didn't have to look heaven. Mazino had only one place to look, and Moose still wins that come up in the 1v1. Little A main control to start off. Slows and just about the kitchen sink thrown here towards the alt orb. And still no. control for C9. That's, that's tough for Lev. They, yeah. You can't feel good about that if you're just going to throw that much in and walk away. It's close with the judge too, and you don't want to walk into that. C, uh, C9 already trying to pull back, and yeah, we have a fast rotate from Leviton towards B. Right into the hands of the operator. Oxy choosing, right? Was a little bit towards the right side for that first hit, and now ready to tear him down as they come in right to the Killjoy utility as well. C9, they may have stacked the site wrong, but they got a good hold here. Lev's util starts to come in. Nice kill on the boss. Nice kill on what would have been some of those mollies. Oh. Moose there gets that pick onto Tex, who got hit by his teammate's paranoia. So that's a small mistake. Aspas trying to find an entry. Pushing out towards the spawn. We'll connect onto Rooney. Moose unfortunately couldn't anchor the back of that B site. Wow. Vanity with a classic. Crossfire set up. Close with the judge. Cover going out. You know it's pretty much over at this point, but he's at least trying to do some damage here. But despite that small mistake on the execution from Leviathan, the push out towards the spawn seems like C9 weren't ready for that one. Yeah, getting through that, uh, especially without being able to hit the alarm bot from Killjoy, being able to util destroy with the kind of util you don't usually destroy with. Yeah. That Viper or that snake bite coming through. Huge. A incredible stuff just to set up Leviathan to have that much more of an advantage in the round, and they were not stopped on lane.
pushing through, flies in. That's what they were talking about. The distance you can clear is not just switch, it's the sight. Yeah. And Aspas just rolls on through. And and you saw that 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 sneak bite on that lane was also a ruse there to force the players to play back boat house. Yeah. So the control yeah, is more towards off. yes, punish on staircase, but also just fight around switch and market. Take control of that area before you could flood in as a team towards that back of the B site. Because again, you have a team that has a lot of flashes and follow up behind that here for Leviathan. So this calls a timeout for Cloud9. Again, they have to think on their toes pretty much seeing this lineup from Leviathan for the first time. Yeah. And this is also an adaptation from Leviathan from when they lost against Laun at kickoff. This was a whole different composition too. They were playing that default comp, the snooze comp as they would like to say. But I like that they're pulling out something new this time around. Uh, Spass across three agents for this series. Yeah, it, uh, they're all feeling pretty comfortable to be able to switch and change around and just get into different um, setups to make these protocols work. And this one, obviously, new composition here coming in on to Ascent. Again, hoping to break that lost streak. Four to one now for Leviathan. They pull back after that fourth round loss. That post plant take by Cloud9. Now on the low buy. Leviathan has not played as aggressive on this as they did with the previous maps. They're getting set up, then they're hitting. I think that's a, a little bit... Uh, <laughs> what you said before is they don't have the find with Sova. They don't have that sonar. They have to guess and then run in as the death ball that would take the site together. And that teamwork has been coming out on top of these plays. Not too much push on the extremities here for C9. They're still doing a bit of guessing, but... Not bad positioning here for the middle of the round. And that's one of the things you could think about here. This type of wall that you're throwing here from Calm, it doesn't really uh, allow for them to take an early mid control. So this is a great opportunity for later rounds if Oxy has an operator to really try to hold that mid. As again, because they don't have a recon dart or feed eye to push them out to get scans, this uh, would be a good way here to punish. We'll have to see in the later rounds now for C9 when they get the gun round. To start things off, there's a bit of util. It's not being cleared. The dig, second dig, it stays alive at 1, one. HP. Finally, Oxy comes in for it. The dash forward to get the pick off on the text finally. That spike down. He'll get picked up. He knows he's trying to hunt him down. The last three players of Leviathan inside B. And he closed the market door. 30 seconds left. What a heady play off the spike. Knowing it could go down in that tight pinch, they get the quick open spike ultimate. Planted. Now it'd be, and it pressures this blade storm to come up even bigger now. King has second smoke. There you go. Pops it up, delays even That's more. Tough. Not giving a chance here for Rooney and Oxy to come out from the market. So they have to opt now to go towards the spawn. Ah, uh, it's not looking towards the right area. Because of that recon dart that got popped there by Rooney, a 2v2 cannot win the fight against King, and it's up to Oxy alone. Another contact gives him a dash. Looks towards the right, cannot connect, and unfortunately couldn't pull out the stinger on time. But have done some good damage here on the lower buy for Cloud9. At the end of the day, Leviathan still takes the lead on their attacking side. Five to one on that. And another different look using the Omen ultimate. Sometimes we see go to not waste, but just round after round, no option to use it, but instantly deploying that strategy here with the mess that happened on Cat, they're able to easily get away from it. Yeah. And just cause trouble at B. Oh, the chance here too. That, that moment that you made you hold your breath. But Oxy missing those and they're able to get it back. Push towards B. Leviathan again across the map to start this one off. You can heard noise now towards the B side. A knife was thrown once again from spawn towards A for Cloud9. Not spotting anybody in. Looks like Ozzy was ready to rotate right away, but maybe a call to maybe stay there. As Leviathan has not added more pressure towards this B side. The call from the IGL saying this is a default. This is a, a fake. The pivot might still yep. come back towards the A site for you. Ready for the double res round. Mazzino goes in, dies with all, dies again, then they get text to res him. You just can't kill this team. <laughs> so many options, but yeah, they can they can absolutely play this a little aggressive, look for the trade and, and get that res. Oh, but the second knife also doesn't get information, so Zeppa is not in a position where he could spam through and ult running out towards the A side, so it really comes down to these two yep. on the high-low in heaven. Utility now forces the off away. Slower, not allowing here. Oxy to walk out, so it's up to Moose alone. 
Oh. Down towards Hal to swing out with the first headshot. Trying to surprise other ones, but it's two players swimming against them. At the jump up is Aspas. Oxy had a sixth sense, has support. There's the wall. King Shell's now pushing players back, and a res comes up on the King. Advantage back for Leviathan on the Pulse Plant. So much util to keep them at bay. Three hit coming in slow. Paranoia, but they can't even play off it. They're yeah. still pushed out of sight just for the delay. And what, oh God. What a nightmare for Oxy to try to play off heaven there. Caught the slow, almost. Uh, you'd rather the slow than a smoke when the op is there. Oxy can't peek, goes to peek, gets a wall in his face and a bunch of nade. That is just one way to shut down the operator even when it's at your site. Great stuff by Leviathan. Flawless on there and four will live. Looks a little swapped if it were last season. C9 saving now. Unfortunate there that the second knife thrown by yeah. Zeppa couldn't get that information for C9 to get ready to at least spray from tree into A main. So now Leviathan once again snowballing the economy. Maxing no matter what into the next round is calm. Out. And C9 really scratching for something this round. Yeah. Bulldog for Moose but has a lockdown. Doesn't want to play too deep inside the site so they can use their ult for the retake. And also trying to put Oxy in position to play with that turret towards B main. They're just pushing forward right through the one way. They are not really respecting the utility that's coming out here because they're getting the trades, they're getting the fights, the confidence just there for Leviathan. And we'll actually see how they take this because not having a, at least another initiator on here to get them past, or not another initiator, but one to see what's going on like a Sova, they're taking these sites flawlessly. They're finding the angles, creating the ones that they need, and it's not even Aspas having to do a whole bunch of glorious things to get in. It's teamwork. It's been wild from Leviathan here for map three as they bring out this new comp. And it looks like they will just wait again before they pull the trigger on what is an A hit. All four detected. And that's going to mean the jig is up. Yep. There was definitely a chess match of utility going in from <laughs> both ends, which allowed Vanity to squeak inside line, trying to surprise some opponents with the knife grabbing four, funneling this time into the up. So it's beautifully set up here for Oxy to get first blood if Leviathan continues to work towards his B site. But an orb thrown on the attack. Moves instantly left. with the lockdown with 30 seconds left. Still giving a chance for Oxy to set up. There's that wall bang off the text. Showstopper in. Goes out towards the logs. He gets a second kill for it before he dies. And Moose connects onto Aspas. Holding down this B site. The last two players are detained. <laughs> Moose is trying to find him. Ten seconds There's left. one. one enemy the headshot remains. across. Fight Upgrading down. weapon. And Mazino is there. Oh. Dropped by Moose again. Big round for the rookie of Cloud9. Moose on the loose. What a round coming in to pick up the second one on that. The preemptive lockdown as well. Leviathan met walls on that round. We were asking what happens once they start getting in the site. Well, if they can't start getting in the site, they got snuffed at A and snuffed at B. They don't get the kills. And it was Aspas having to do something Gloria this, this round, right? Could not get in. The kill was almost there, but Moose came up big with three to lock it down. Operators there for Oxy. We're going to get the old non to Rooney now as we get a quick tech pause to come out. Still money here to work with for Leviathan. Again, I think that might have been another variation that they showed us on this. So C9 is just kind of getting their feet under them that Lev's got something different every round. Always look for the second take, always look for the fake, and the reads are starting to come in on the side of C9. Yeah. And so far, C9, you see it from mid-round, end round. They're not really yeah. over-rotating players either. They're putting, they're setting up uh, Oxy pretty much to watch down towards the line, and the rest are just trying to watch their angles, but nobody really trying to over-rotate in these gun round situations for C9, so... For Leviathan, maybe they'll have to try to up the tempo a little bit more. They had a lot of success working towards that middle before with the Sage Wall split into B. But that was before when, you know, C9 couldn't win the pistol. The economy was really snowballing for Leviathan. Yeah. But now they have an Operator and an Odin to work with. And we'll see that come into effect as we're heading back in the server. Had a little bit of a monitor issue, but yeah. our wrestler admins are doing a great job there on the floor to get us back in the game right away. Absolutely. Thank you for your patience. We are ready for gameplay. Operator there for Oxy. That's going to be the cat push. 
just to make sure mid is covered, but definitely a dash out, got himself pinned in the corner already. And again, you called it, Vans, this mid play has been an advantage once they can wall off and get themselves through this alarm bot to crash B. And Calm is ready for just that. And also, look at Rooney's position. He's just set up to maybe wall bang with an Odin towards B main, but also towards Market, if, he, if they actually decide to do that. So the alarm bot just got broken. The wall came up. There's the execution from Leviathan. Pop flash coming through from Zeppa, though. He gets Ooh. nailed by the pink shells out from Aspas. And it's set up the wall bangs. They don't want to let them know that there's an Odin yet for C9. As now he ADS, punished. Moose in the same position, but too many players from Leviathan there. An opportunity for surprise plays, but all caught individually. Leviathan gets an open B site for a plant, and the last two players instantly saving. It might be Aspas that takes a different route, but Lev have committed to lane side every almost every time they've come B. For market, yeah. Just a swarm down lane is impossible to stop for everybody in sight. A tried and true push by them. They get B to come up again, and again, that mid play is what opens up the map for them. They get this Cloud9 rotation separated. As we were saying, Cloud9 is anchoring their sights a bit. So you can split them up if they're still in those anchor spots. You have all that time to work with with the spike going down as they rotate over. A hold to come in here for C9 if they can stay alive from left pressure. Vanity just got spotted now. Oh, he's trying to stay alive as the <laughs> upshot unfortunately was missed by Oxy. Now he's going to head it down at Wine. There's that first contact, a draft, shorty, wait! Oh! oh! The dink can connect the second one, and Aspas gets four in the round, and that, I was gonna say, there was gonna be a round where they could potentially buy another yeah. Odin here and then Did use the off around, but unfortunately, they, they lose the operator. And that's now six alt points for Aspas. Just look at that. One commits the site, and everybody else is just like, where are they gonna peek from? Fish in a barrel. Oh, I love that view. Yeah. Awesome mouse control there. It's by quick. Flash coming out. The wall bang from Oxy. And that's Blade Storm available for that too. So you saw the buy coming out from Vanity, I think, for Oxy for him to get a Vandal here. So he pops the Nimes and drops here the Vandal for Vanity to work with. So back to a gun round for C9. Calm is already deep yeah. in wine right now. They're saying he's just pinged the turret. So Killjoy is at A. You can expect a bit of utility to be strewn about tree. And that's what they're going to look for right now. King's the one lurking this time. Mm -hmm. Made it all the way up towards Pizza. Well, Aspas is trying to create noise here towards Garden. He hears a jump that's going to punish Vanity, who jumps around and gives a nice chance here for the rotate to happen. A potential trade. He TPs away. Stuck in a corner, though. Rooney trying to fight him. He'll trade it out. Meanwhile, though, the plant is happening towards the A site. Nice little first and second contact. Once again, beautiful play by Rooney. And with a combination, too, gets the paint to allow Moose to pick up the last two kills. What a play there. Good adaptation by C9. That was a, that was almost an instant round change for Lev, right? They get calm into position. He pings the turret. All right, we take down Util on tree. We take down the, the turret. And then they're going to move around on defense. Moved around a little less than they thought. And C9 still able to get into position to retake A. They were not fooled. Really nicely done as Lev's trying to play this little util destroy game. And get C9 out of position. It takes a lot more than that at this point. 7-3 to three here could easily be a 7-5 with the momentum C9 has. Oxy still with these early peaks on B main. That's a slower fake now towards the B main, pulling Zeppo away from the A side. But again, the KG playing towards the A, uh, the A site. There's still a lot of util to try to delay. He was trying to hop back up to get a position on Heaven Clear. so he could fall back. Yep. Allowing C9 to play the retake should they get swarmed here. Jumps now. Audio being heard by Vanity and on top of Catwalk, and he Ooh. was pushing out the whole way. Showstopper in sight. Paranoia 2 to ensue, clearing it out. Snake bites. You see the util being thrown right now. Oh, it misses! And Vanity is able to move forward to get the kill onto Calm. Zep on the top of heaven, catching Aspas with util in his hands, headshots him. As King instantly becomes the last player standing. 
Double swing out towards the heaven. You see the confidence right now from Cloud9. Breaking the door, that. moving in, trying to hunt him down. That is the exact Shadows word I was about to use. This looked like their pistol retake where they were about, they just waterfall into sight. The confidence behind each other on that swing of heaven was incredible. Absolutely taking Leviathan off guard. You saw Aspas' ulti go right through the door and just missing the shoulder of C9 Vanity. Able to pick up a few in sight. So nicely controlled there on around the Vietan had planned out with an ultimate for us, boss. Yeah. And they pushed back hard. So that 7-5 is much more in the mirror or in view now. And King hears this. He's just ready for the swing. Moose once again. Yeah. Last Moose is just cleaning up on these extra kills. No pressure to him when it comes up. 972 there just behind Oxy. Ultimate for Moose about to come up. If he can get two on this round or even focus an orb. Oxy and Moose have actually been focusing B main pretty hard, so we'll see if they try to do that this time. Moose isn't back towards A. Let's see what the setup is. It is that A setup. It's just going to be Rooney and Moose or Rooney and Oxy at B. And it is gonna be a B hit from Leviathan. Tom's ult to possibly come in if they can get into sight, but this low buy for the last first half, last round of first half, gonna make it tough. Change of pace too. Underhand throw under the Viper Orb to try to push forward. Knife to try to eliminate some of that util. A TP came towards the back of the site, but it got canceled. This might get hurt and still C9 were able to hold with the three players inside the site. More players falling down. Calm is alone. And Calm will also fall. We end up at a 5-7 half where C9 is showing some life. Switching sides. Great control over that round. This is, C9 approached that round like they knew what Lev were doing because they did. They've seen it before. How many times have we actually seen people in sight looking for that wall? They finally use it, instantly taken off of the wall. C9 prepared for this protocol. <laughs> well, they're, they're feeling vibing. it too. They're feeling it. Everybody's been vibing today for sure, and Rooney's <laughs> fired up for sure. A hype man with Moose with the rest of the team. And you can definitely see here that C9 made some big moves ahead of Stage 1. And Vanity told us about the game changers behind the scenes, so let's have a listen. I think a big addition that we had in the, the changes was adding an assistant coach, Googly. He's an old Italian man, but I'm very happy with him. Uh, he's been great to work with. He helps balance uh, our relationship in the team a lot. I think he's very good at getting, like, we haven't had many like uh, arguments in our team, but if there's like ever tension, he's very good at helping us like diffuse it and handle it in like a professional manner. I think he's probably, honestly, the biggest addition we've had. Like I think Moose and Rooney are both great players, but I think that Googly's mind has been helping us a lot. And definitely, so those changes are here. Bring that confidence out here for Cloud9. Yes, it was a much slower start from that first map, but those players really start stepping up to one in those changes, right? Rudy dropped, I think, like a 20 bomb on that second map. And Moose is, fine, is finding his rhythm and his groove right now in that yeah. third map. Did now off this halftime, yeah, I mean, Leviathan, they came up with something new here and they tried to surprise C9 with this composition. And now it makes it a little bit tougher this time, Riv, because we mentioned the no scan. You can't really spray when there's an execution yeah. with these smokes. So how do you play? Do you, do you have to play passively and play retake on your end? And you don't have a Cypher or a KJ to do that delay possibility like Moose has for C9. I feel like it's right. There's not as many layers to Lev's defense. You see those few slow orbs. You might see the raise nade and 90% of the util you're really worried about is going to be gone there, right? The zero point is going to come through, but that's eight seconds of, okay, we can wait. They may be crushing through here if Oxy is the, the spearhead and continues to just go forward. The Vietan's defense is going to be an interesting one, how they set this up. About to get into the second half here, all the way to three games for the Vietan and C9. Time off for these teams as Lev has worked on the current crew and C9 to make changes. Able to put up that 7-5 first half here on Ascent. Possibly take this series to start off stage one. A little push into A. It doesn't look like Lev's going to want to stay there fully. They'll play retake here happily at this point as tree is control for them. And this split for C9, though, they're going to look to find a peeker, find one lurker, anybody on a walkabout here. At the beginning of this round, Tex already had to use a slow orb and is a heal on himself because he got mm -hmm. popped here by Zeppa. Then also now, the wall comes up early. 
And then we'll just knife it out, wait it out at the same time. Leviathan not budging off the noise that's been made, though, by Cloud9. Only one shot. So if they don't know that there's actually two players here, Knife comes in again. <laughs> We're just playing Minecraft at this point. Oh. Can you find your treasure now? Three Oxy, trying to go with the dash activate. The trade across, not there for C9, but they fall back with now the towards middle. Vanity did down. look across, though, at the switch. Oh, this is incredible. That actually, Mazzino's kill is huge to stop this rotation over. They're not going to have numbers to sight now. Exactly. And Zeppa cannot the get the contact off the flash, spike and that's the spike down. down. Mazzino did a great remaining. job here to cut these rotates, and the lurk now disabled pretty much. A flawless for Leviathan. Oh. And this is what the first map where they win both pistols. Balls. And that was an important pistol for Leviathan to contain, maintain their lead yeah. on ascent. Cloud9 getting caught up in the crossfire there. Both tree, both of B area and market. Really tough to break through there. And what a read One enemy remaining. as well by Leviathan. Super patient. And they got everybody from C9 basically to face them in a firefight there with what they chose. Second round coming in. Not going to see any of those vandals. We do have the judge for calm though, as he plays it close on B main. The Sheriff for Rooney already down to 21 HP as he tries to get the first shot off. And that far knife from the other side. A nice hit from Market Mid. It's been a lot of damage at the same point, too. Rooney at 21 HP and trying to find a timing. And with that wall coming up, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult. And also, the audio cue there, uh, the audio cue rather, is there. Beautiful <laughs> flash, though. Triple swing right behind that, and that's Aspos down. Upgrading uh, to a submachine gun to dash across the lurk. Couldn't work out for Moose, though. At least C9 have made it inside the A site for a plan. Oxy's got that gun, too. If they confront one of these choke points, they can get quite a few kills. King's going to help out by taking Zeppa, though, for V3 on the retake. Yet. Spectre could be everything inside the Not site now in the hands yet. of Oxy. Rooney also still has his Sheriff. It looks like he's playing all the way back here towards the A site. Does he ever line up for? Shock darts? No, it was just for a recon down on the top of heaven. There's that first kill on the attempt of a retake from Leviathan. A three versus three. Instantly two kills, and Rooney with the Sheriff! A thrifty round for C9 to answer right back. Again, again. One on Icebox, one now coming on to Ascent. I, Rooney down to 21 HP at the beginning of the round. Actually still comes up with kills at the end, but that wall, the wall that text place, I think, threw Aspas off just a bit because they were able to land on the wall and peek around it, giving them a high low to get that first weapon into Oxy's hands. Interesting choice. C9 pushing through as a team, gathering the guns and just waltzing right in for the eco. That thrifty was huge for them. Six to eight here. Cloud9 still known for it, apparently, as we enter stage one of 2024 to get those eco rounds. C9 now through a knife, clears out wine at the top of the, the stone boxes on the right side of the A site, allowing C9 to creep up. Ares being shot, uh, sorry, Odin being shot by Moose to try to just wall bang a bit if he can. But that's just a ruse for the rest of C9 to just execute for Planet A. Yeah. Easy entrance here. They can just get themselves into sight and wait for this. It's going to be pistols on the entry. I wonder if Leviathan even just hide for as long as possible to avoid any alt doors here. Gonna yeah, Rooney's so one. close to these, right? Wouldn't be surprised if he's going to start hunting down too. A great start for him in the second half. Did a lot of damage and allowing C9 to win that thrifty and build that money up. In great position is Moose. Mazzino, unfortunately, oh, actually, unfortunately for Vanity, yeah. gets picked off here by Mazzino. Austin trying to move close with the judge, being slowed down. Does get that pick onto Calm, but three players swing up towards Tree. They're making it expensive. Okay. Really expensive so far. Ooh. The rest hunting forward. <laughs> You're lucky at least in the end right now for C9 that they did get at Thrifty on that second round, right? The the eco win. So it allows for them to get a lot of money here to still get a pretty decent gun round. Yeah. There's one person on low armor as we see once more. Good pressure here. 
Leviathan to get in. Odin is saved coming into the next round. That's going to go back to Moose. And Lev back on to weapons. We'll see how they really use this defensive composition, or this composition, I should say, on defense now with weapons. So one way is played for stall. I play right goes here? Out. Yeah. The left spike and spawn. So Zeppa has to run lane, Once pick it up. Spike retrieved. Or at least it's for him to pivot back towards the B site. Default wall being thrown here. Not default, but Com using that mid to be to catwall. And this mid push, they're trying to actually see if they'll still get to peek on Cat. They found a fight here almost every round and level give it again. Big flash too. Double sack towards that left side at dog here on Catwalk for Leviathan. But they did some damage onto Oxy. As soon as he got the first contact there onto Aspas through the cloud burst and tried to escape it, instantly got dinked, trying to rotate back. That's going to weaken things as C9 is also dashless to try to get inside mm -hmm. wherever they're trying to go with 45 seconds left. If C9 only knew, A is theirs almost every round. Where they have to respect the setup they've seen. It's just the Tex and Ospos and Tree, and now only Tex. All this time being bought here with how Lev has played the defense before, left. making Cloud9 think twice. They'll know they have a free sight, though. No Big trade. Big trade in mid as this plant goes down. A little bit of a push up coming in from Oxy. Could be the key factor here. So now you have a 3-on-3 three on, three on A site and a 1v1 on B. Spike now planted on the ACF for Cloud9. Owl drone to push forward, leaving Oxy in that same position. Spotting at least one. Oh, no way. Gets that first kill, turns around for the second. Traded up by Aspas. That 1v1 towards B was won by Moose. So it's Aspas a little pinched. Nice shot at least. And he's going to attempt to save this. Yeah. Oh. I thought for a moment they were actually looking right at Oxy. And I thought then, I was looking at Vanity yeah. at that point. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, okay. Everybody was considering it clear. Aspas going to save your Cloud9 coming up with another round. Look at the kills too. Spawn, mid, back of tree, spawn, Cloud9 encroaching so far into the defensive side to throw Leviathan off of timing and where the game state of the map might be. And now Leviathan's gonna call that timeout as we watch this replay. Exactly, especially off that, you were talking about those kills, those deep kills towards spawn, and it was like one-on-one -on -one peaks, but perfect trades in the end on both ends that favored C9 pretty much. Mm -hmm. But that allowed that late lurk battle to happen towards B as well, so Leviathan's starting to get picked apart here on this comp that they're throwing out. Seems like they weren't surprising C9 too much, with for which forces him to call a timeout here. There's good timing on C9 there. That rotation out of tree, just uh, so much space for Oxy, and they pushed into sight at 30 seconds on the round. But are we going to get that all the time? Do, do they draw out Lev as long as they can because of this util? It's not a find Killjoy and run away from Killjoy. They don't really have to run away from any Anything. site unless yeah. they see four members of Leviathan. So it's just how C9 want to approach it when they get there. What are Vanity and Rooney saying on how to break the site? And what is Moose offering on the flank to make that happen? And it's almost like that conversation of that Sage on split where you don't really see her as much anymore. Beginning of the round, slow orb, slow orb, a wall. And then mm -hmm. what do you really have to defend? Not yeah. too much, right? So early in these rounds, if Texas holding the eight side solo, slower for them to try to contest towards orb. Once it's calmed down, maybe they will up on catwalk, but then there's not too much util left for Leviathan to hold towards A. Right. So they have to activate somewhere else, but there's not too much of that battle from the rest of Leviathan, at least trying to fight Stay towards B main or something. And what's been really good as well for C9 is that they kept the economy very low for Leviathan yeah. since that thrifty eco, which then also means you can't really get an operator out early for any bit of Leviathan. Yeah. And Leviathan even spread amongst themselves using the credits they can to get some hero buys in. As Vanity trying to give him a different look to start up peaks it again. <laughs> oh, okay, Vanity. You feel in the headshots right now that they can take these chances. Group it up now. Odin being shot. Kam is trying to play close with this Bucky. Orb's gonna get picked up. There's the execution. One of the rare moments of C9 moving in towards B. Kam, though, has lurked around and gets the kill with the Bucky. Trying to answer back. It's a second somehow. And finally, he gets traded out. But this is room to breathe for Leviathan, because Aspas has a hero rifle here. 
C9 moving inside the B site for a plant at least. Good job. Okay. Knight slowing down for a bit. There's another swarm too, but it's gonna keep them close. That forces out the Hunter's Fury. There's that first ping though, and King gets the kill with the Odin. Off from the lane. Almost got that kill onto Aspas. 30 seconds left. Now there's 30 seconds left. It's C9's time to oh, oh. try to do some hero plays. Planning outside in the open. RC was trying to use his reaction time to get off it and then to push forward if somebody was it. fighting back against him. 2v2. Vanity saving the round so far for C9. As it's up to Tex. Small shields. There's one. The trade out from Incredible. Oxy. And C9 take the lead. The smoke delays. Oxy planting in the open? I felt like my heart was going to stop. <laughs> what? This is incredible. In the face of danger, Cloud9 picking up the wins, playing together, and the stall on that was so good. Even after these kills from Calm, they still get themselves in against all odds. They lose a bunch of all. They don't a bunch of alls, but they lose the Sova alt there, and you just thought it was going to the wayside for C9, but no way. They take that home. You finally saw a little bit of that value of that wall that Calm is placing towards this B side to just jump yeah. around left and right on lane. Also forcing double decays when you're trying to run through from B main into lane when you're finally going to get these gun rounds for Lev. But so far, it seems like C9 doesn't want to test it a second time. No. Back to what they're known for, working towards A, and King is doing a little bit of vanity there. And the yellow drone's gonna clear him out, the wall bangs, makes it out alive. Cloud9 pushing back quite hard since that Leviathan timeout. Mid control, still watching tiles. It looks like it's gonna be this A play once again, but this time, Lev's in A. They aren't playing this tree, rotate out, retake. They're meeting it head on. <laughs> still waiting. Still pushing. They are going to go back to a bit of the tree hold, but still now have this A anchor and difference. Quicker way to break down the walls here with the Odin instead of knifing it across. Tex now walking forward as the wall comes spike. down. Gets spike an instant down, punish mid. with the spike down. Mazino answering at the top of mid as well from Pizza. Moose ADSing. Nice shot there onto Aspas. A little bit of an overcommitment, but also left. respect it because Vanity TP to grab the spike and are moving into the A site. Delay from the lockdown to come in, but it looks like Tex wants to make a play. He made it through. He made it through. Now Vanity was squeezed back down the towards hell. Standing. And as he tries to call it for his teammates, Rooney's there for the save once again from A main. Mazzino stuck wall bang oh. by Moose. C9 at 10. Moose just lacing people right station. now with that Vanity Odin from site to site. Where do they go next? A nice bit of a mid play here. Oxy to open things up. It, the, getting the spike down in this the omen play that we keep seeing seems to just be top notch. And they're hyped, man. <laughs> they are hyped. Well, especially when you're in the lead by two and you're already forcing the second time out by Leviathan. You have all the confidence right now to try to close out this series again. This would be a very labored victory that they would have if they're managing to upset Leviathan in this third map. And as you're pulsing now, C9 on the attack, they've won five rounds in a row here. Ever since losing Piss around in the second half, it's been them all along controlling the pace yeah. of, this, of this map. And again, it, it's really on that conversation of this composition from Leviathan. Is it built to be a little bit more offensive and try, should they have picked and gotten more rounds here on the attack. Right. I mean, you have that, you question that, and you got to think, what are Rooney and Vanity saying? How many ways can they get by this? They know they don't have to deal with too much, so mid-round plans happening. The pre-round is already a good setup where they're actually getting quite a bit of information off of what's happening to make that second decision, to make the mid-round last. The last round, rather, it was playing towards mid, finding those few frags, and then, boom, again towards A once they could hit it. Just methodical right now with how C9 is figuring out the Vieton instantly denying a push towards B main control right off the bat here. And that was a paranoid thrown on the, on the attack. Now pivoting back towards mid. Leviathan also rotating out just to try to add a little bit more pressure. Maybe even pinching from everywhere, but they decide otherwise. Just stack up towards tree. 
They've been it's, reading his hits towards the A site. It's that play again. It's okay, mid, two and two. Cat and A. We pinch, we squeeze him in, we take him out. Already pushed back towards Tree here. This low buy doesn't give Lev much room to work with if they're finding the util dump from Cloud9. Yeah. And A site is C9s once again with a big lurk. Coming in from Vanity. Yeah, you're able to slow down the A entrance, but you've given up Tree, and there's three players walking out in that area. The other two players for C9, they'll take it. They're holding pulse plants outside towards the E main. In great position right now. And this time it's Vanity on the lurk. He's on a lurk with an Odin. Shadows traveling. Nice little Molly here to try to flush him out. Lots of damage being done, and there's that lurk. There's two. Yeah. King trying to answer back, trying to do whatever he can, but you definitely know this round is looking to be pretty good for Cloud9 to seal the deal in this round, especially with those two kills from Rooney. Again, those two Ooh. newcomers for Cloud9 are making a huge difference here on Ascent. And you're almost expecting there to be no lurk at this point. And you're like, okay, there's Moose. Moose is in sight. We saw him a little bit on the take, so we're good, right? No, Vanity is now taking up that job, and he'll be smoking from across the map yeah. and coming in a little bit later to help clutch the site. <laughs> and a casual 20 bomb now from Oxy on the other end. 20 for King. We haven't really seen too many of these duels of a one versus one between Oxy and Aspas, right? Aspas focusing a lot on the B side at the beginning. All of C9 really fighting towards the A side, mid, mid towards Cat. It seems there's still no answer for Leviathan. On oh, the amount of times we're hitting towards A. Again, but a different tempo. Done early in the round. Spike is already down. Oxy made it across. Down to 21 HP was wall banged there from the top of heaven. There's the head to head. But King steals the kill away. With Spike down out in the open, Showstopper available. Not anymore. One for one. Rooney alone. Lurk on the top. The lineup on two. Rooney's there. And it's up to him and King. Al Joan available. Three seconds on a recon dart as well. King hiding it back around the dice. So Rooney runs with. No information whatsoever. King looking to move back towards the A main. Out in the open. King there gets the is. pick. And Leviathan stay alive. That was an incredibly necessary round for Leviathan. Coming down to the last drop. The last player in King. And he gets the crown for a very necessary round. We'll see this again. The first time we've seen C9 have to worry about the spike being down. They've had control of each round. Messes him up just a little bit. Almost looked like they could repair the situation, but Lev come out on top. They have five ultimates coming in around 21. You have to expect they roll another one over in their favor here. And they know it's an expensive round that Leviathan won. So Ox is pulling out the outlaw. Cannot have enough here for an operator, but they'll still use an outlaw. And he can get great value on those few low armor buys. Exactly. Three of them on the side of the Vietnam with his outlaw may string true. Still a lot of pressure on Lev here. The 11-9 score line. They cannot afford to mess up around and have that money reset. They also need to keep Zephyr alive right now for Cloud9. Having that null command would be huge against the attempt of the retake for Leviathan with these five ults that they currently have. All of them working up towards the middle except for Vanity breaking the wall towards the A site. Keeping the players at bay this time. Yes, Aspas is finally playing towards the A site because they pitted early towards B. Placing swarm grenades. Swarm grenade Lots out. of room now. Yeah. That's really the... Not too many weaknesses, but you're using bodies to try to get information into flight from tree and from switch to top mid. This is such a new look from C9. Fully spread out in a default. 30 seconds left on the round as they start to work towards mid with an idea here for B. And this time they're giving that panel over to Oxy because they need him to entry. Jump spotting, finding information. Null Command comes out early. And that was actually done on the defensive side. 22 seconds left on the clock. Pivoting back towards A. Cover going out. And this time it's the attacker side using it, so there's no showstopper available now for Leviathan inside the site, but it doesn't matter. Aspas gets the first kill. King is there for the support. Finally, the Odin comes in. Tex trying to find a timing towards the back, has a res at the same time. Rooney once again alone. 
Buddy is showing out the keep as well. Swings out and tries to get the kill, but cannot. The fuse now comes in for Leviathan. And off that second timeout, we're also seeing life out of the defensive side. That is an incredibly big round again for Leviathan. They lose this, they get 1,900 credits in the pocket. Now they get a bit of money. Doesn't even mean they can full buy across the board, mind you. But they do get the necessary money to keep this momentum going. What a retake. We're going to get a timeout here from C9 to stave off this pressure. Leviathan, get a little discussion going and figure out what was working from the coaching standpoint. And get that from Emmy. And yeah, definitely it's been a bit of a change of how they're holding this defense for Leviathan. Not too much pressure at the beginning of these rounds for Slorbing that we were mentioning before. They're really able to save that a little bit in terms of Util remaining for Tex on these actual hits yeah. from Cloud9 are using it late. And off that round though, it, it was a little bit of, uh, a little bit expensive rather for Leviathan, but they used those alts at the right moments, right? The null command that came through towards that under minute mark, so it doesn't really allow C9 to move towards this B site. They don't have a pit now anymore in the B site. Now they're also realizing that Aspas is also focusing more on A. Yeah. So we'll be finally a pivot now from C9 to start pressuring to end towards B once again. And we see that scoreboard. All things considered, imagine Lev has both pistol rounds, but they weren't able to run away with the second round. This could be such a different game. But the string of six rounds from C9 after that thrifty, absolutely punishing for Lev as they finally get their footing back here to come back in. Lev getting the money sorted out. They did actually have enough to drop on way. those buys, so they do find full armor, Go even away. with the money going back down to 1900. Interesting, but the knife doesn't really allow for them to get more space behind the Hunter's Fury, and now is thrown here by Mazzino to get the information off the two at the beginning. So it allows Tex to throw a wall up. Yeah, yeah. But this is very early, right? He already threw that slow orb and then the wall, and look at his util. All he has left is a res. And of course, a Vandal in his hands, and he could do a lot of magic with that as well. But C9 pivoting back to play contact at M2. Spike being dropped to make an audio I cue. The spike. Right here. Both players now creeping up towards M3. And that's Zeppa and Moose. Trying to walk around and trying to get a backstab and they'll get it. Mazzino falls. And at the same time, Zeppa is all the way out towards the spawn at B. Yes, there's an exchange of battle here. And there's that lurk play. Beautiful here for Cloud9. Advantage comes in for them, but they're a little bit spread across the map. King has to come up huge now. Oh, what a shot there onto Moose. Last two players grouping together against the last no two way. of Leviathan. Both of them moving towards the A heaven. 30 seconds left. King pivoted it once again to meet up with Calm at the door and looking to backstab the backstabbers. Perfect timing here. The buddy system going to be working out great for Leviathan as they can get themselves back to safety. Do they stick together? No, they decide to split. Recon guard outside of the smoke, allowing here for the plant to come down. Two individual MV1s potentially here. Snake bites being thrown from Calm. Pivoting back towards Stop the dice. The King is moving towards, towards, towards Generator. Nice little first shot by Rooney. There's King to trade it right back. A 1v1, half HP is Rooney. Suppresses, King has the paranoid out, hits it. TP on the top, trying to find it. The headshot from King, a 4K in the round, and Leviathan tie up this game. Incredible stuff from King in the last moment. The omen play everyone wishes they could nail, but some reason we miss it. What a play, King just playing that so calm. And I love, I love the fact that calm was the distraction. Calm made so much noise in heaven that they, <laughs> they had to think both were there. No one was looking at the flank. That was me internally. And then King. I was yelling, but holy crap, that was a play by King. Oh my gosh. The patience he has, hit by a suppress, winning it through. Woo. And that's the vibe they needed. The timeouts for Leviathan now coming in. They came down to the wire as well, off a timeout from C9 that just happened here. And now the momentum, you mentioned it, the vibe that we need it for Leviathan. It continues on with also now the economy in their favor. Yeah, the alt economy so also big. in their favor. 
C9 having to fight back once again. Not as strong as a lead as they had before. At the beginning of the second half. And they'll try once again to go for an instant pop towards the A site. Tech's now waiting just to contact towards Cat. The wall up will not allow the lurk to happen. And there's the exit. Tech's trying to run through, shooting a bit. Oh. And they're doing all the damage. Perfect second floor. He fully blinded though. Zeppa answers back. Mazzino comes across. And the timing on that one is not in his favor either. And somehow, a slight overheat from Leviathan. Punish right away. Tap on the spike and no calm is here. Calm trying to get the wall back shots. But does not connect. Another tap once okay. again. Pain shells. Left. They're getting good util out here. They know Aspas is at the top though. And what maybe could save him is hopefully a life, but it's in 23 seconds only. So that showstopper may do a lot of damage. Rooney down low at 21. There. To jump up on the generator. Second shot guard, no contact onto Aspas. A lurk yeah. around here from the top. Zeppa breaking the window. As now the players are running down. Jump spot on the first. Trying to go for a second jump spot. It's at half. Nice little first shot. Second one coming through. And now Zeppa has to try to win a 2v1. There's that first. Could play the time. Comes across on the left side. Aspas pushing forward. Zeppa gets the 4k. And a Red Bull clutch to put C9 at map and series point. It's incredible the amount of rounds that are coming down to these 1v1s right now. Calling on everything from the players in this individual moment. Round after round. King. Doing what he can for the team. Yeah. Zeppa doing what he can for his team here. In a huge clutch. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to do a lot. On the other side, you have a 30 bomb from King on the Vieton. Doing Insane. everything to keep them in this and bring it to OT as Cloud9 oh, go back to the mid track. Momentum back in the favor of Cloud9. Money in shambles for Leviathan. No command to push through and Tex instantly on the pivot for the flank. Has a timing here, has all the information, but only has a sticker. Stuff drops the no command. The trades come out for Leviathan. Up to Moose alone. Has the lockdown and is forced to pull it out right away. Solo Moose. Everybody knows where he is now. Oh, and the res too! It's the bait to push this into extra innings! What a series to start us off for stage one! OT on the books. And we're gonna get it switched up now. C9 on that defensive side here as we see the round again. Lev's gonna go back to attack. And we're gonna get this reset. Money across the board. See if we get any Odins in here. And how the teams decide to play this one. Van Silly. Incredible to see Cloud9 able to bring this type of form out at the start of the split. Find so many holes in what Leviathan's trying to bring to the table. And also the Vieton as well. Still having the all-star fraggers. Aspas King, the rest of the team, whenever they're needed to keep this going. Paw flash being done here to try to get some early orb control. At least in the cubby for Leviathan. Vanity still trying to jump spot. Almost had a timing there, and King chooses to just stay out in the open to not eat the pre fired shots from Vanity. A stalemate in this moment, a smoke now being thrown instead of a one way. Just to keep now the enemies at bay. Leviathan trying to pivot back towards Cat, though. A lot of cat play, a lot of tree play from both teams. Big paranoia. That slows down the push once again, allowing the wall to get broken. And here comes the chaos inside oh. the smoke. First blood this time for Leviathan. Trying to run through again, maybe trying to look for a play. Zeppa doesn't have any more flashes. Aspa somehow gets a wall bang onto Moose as he falls as well. Plot now coming in for Leviathan. A little chip damage, but is it enough? 5v3 here. Oh, so and they annoying. still haven't got tree back. Finally, as they break the second wall, that could allow for them to go for a 3-2-1 swing. But instead, one was caught with a reload, allowing Rooney, or forcing Rooney to peek alone. At least he stays alive. You still have Calm just lurking around the map during all of this, too. So many options for left to clean it up. A draft avoids a shorty once again denied. And also the ace denied by Rooney. Four HP. 
Tex wins it, and Leviathan, they're the ones now at map and series point. One Switching of the first sides. rounds we saw Match everyone course. try to fight there in Tree, and I think the big factor is Cloud9 could not get through Tree. We saw the push coming from Vanity on the other side, but it was slowed, it was walled, and when it's walled, it creates such a tighter choke point you don't want to get through. That bit of mistiming gives Leviathan the momentum, gives him the upper hand in the round all together. C9 called the OT timeout. And we're going to look to get into this next round, round 26 here. We will get that Odin on the board for Moose. Good to see her right now in the Riot Games Arena, showing the support for both of these teams. Sold out day. This time for C9 versus Leviathan to kick things off. But man, does it, it's got to suck for o Oxy this time. It's the <laughs> second time that he had shorter kills against Ospas, a potential, but couldn't get the second one in. And that was almost everything here to not allow Cloud9 to really win that pulse plant. The Cloud9 cheers coming from the crowd. And with Vietan holding strong through it, they've had quite a few throughout this comeback as well to bring it into OT and that momentum now to game point. Odin on both sides are gonna be ringing out here through the walls of Ascent and possibly our final round. A push towards A main for Lev to get a little bit of early control, maybe wall it off immediately. And they're watching towards mid, something C9 has loved in these rounds. The 3-2 split across the map though, is the protocol for round 26 in Cloud9's book. And he's looking to wall bang this from the top of Rainiac boxes. Mm -hmm. Knife is close, recon on the top, that pings him, and that gives a chance now for Cloud9 to move forward. Look at this push though from Catwalk. Leviathan has two players moved up. All of C9 now moving out towards B main. And Vanity will be the late lurk. Odin continues to spray across. Oxy just trying to answer back through the smoke as well. Everybody stays alive for now. No damage? How? <laughs> how? Tell me how. Everybody's just shooting blanks Not at this point. Not even a chip. All right, so the, 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 the mollies are gone though. It looks like Oxy wants to dash straight out. Gonna have to wait another eight seconds as this pings if they don't shoot the knife. All right. They are in, they're ready, but this lurk from Vanity could call differently. Yeah, and then at the minute mark, they actually put this wall up. So Vanity has to do everything to try oh, to break oh. down this wall. But as they do this here, the pivot is out from Leviathan to take control of A main. So a late rotate from C9 to A could potentially be a loss. And even they move towards B, there's three players there. They're just waiting for the smokes. They have to be on point now on the execute. Calm rotating back, pushing up the top of the lane. There's that dash in from Oxy. King just waiting inside of that smoke. Players now moving down on the other end. Pinch from behind, Calm gets one. Moose as well. Advantage up for C9. Three players to fall. 13 seconds left, the plant will come down. Tex and Aspas looking to fight back. Two players staying behind the boathouse for Cloud9 as the other two are playing contact first at the staircase. Odin in the hands of Oxy. And as Aspas is now starting to close the gap. You hear the Odin being shot on the other end. Alarbot now, Nanoswarm, Aspas is now slowed down. Cannot get across, has two satchels to work with, but decides to walk forward instead. A one for one, last one on the lane. And we will go once again to a second overtime. Cloud9 replicating a strat they used a few time. times throughout this game that was in A. Wait until 30 seconds. There's, again, not a lot defensively for Leviathan to stop an incredibly hard hit. 30 seconds, they nail B sight as soon as Vanity is done messing with Cat in that wall, trying to just get a little bit of distraction down. So really nice overall map play there to keep Leviathan thinking. And also Cloud9's banking on the fact that they're gonna be hitting the site with less numbers that late into the round. It's on Leviathan now to put up a strategy back onto attack as we're into round 27, OT number two. Odin spray on middle because of his Viper wall was trying to get something on top mid. Op in the hands of Oxy. And he actually avoided, walked across the snake bite. Down to low HP, has the dash and trying to move forward to potentially try to get the pick into calm. But calm knows better, just tucks in. There is that wall for the split. Now Ox is just waiting and gets that pick. No more splits coming in from Leviathan. Lots of them being spotted out here towards the market. 
And Leviathan still engaged towards the entry. Nice little shot there on to Moose through the smoke, tying things up on a 4 4. Rooney now answers back as Mazzino's oh. trying to find another surprise kill inside spawn. King doing the same. Oh, it's loose. He loses the fight to Vanity with the judge somehow. Spike, meanwhile, though, has been planted. Two players left. Good paranoia. Haas boss is no blind, follow. forced to fall back. Tex is trying to make a play. The sprays now from the spawn. One is suppressed. No heals, no slow orbs. So Tex is just trying to move forward. And it's beautiful. Beautifully done by Cloud9. Instant trades to put them back in the lead. They have not previously taken out that B main lurk on the mid play from the Vietan. Oxy's first kill here was so big on the round to make sure it faltered in market. See the pushes, the plays. C9 shuts it down. I can't believe Vanity won that one. That potentially could have been everything too because that would have been given King position into market. <laughs> We do have another timeout being called out this time by Leviathan. As again, series point here for Cloud9, yeah. and it's been a great way so far to close out this series, Riv. It was, <laughs> I'd like to say a snooze fest maybe on the first one, but that second and third map, both teams have definitely woken up. We're definitely seeing the potential of these teams now fighting in the Americas, and GB mentioned it, Shanghai on the line, champions on the line. Yeah. So you have to be on point every single game. And to see right now that C9 comes with two new players and are able to do this against one of the top teams here in America. Yeah. I wonder what Ball will have to say after this. I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> I mean, you almost got Oxy dropping a 30 along with King, right? But if we think about it, we mentioned King having 30 a few a while rounds ago. Yeah, ago. Exactly. So King's been shut down on these last few rounds. But. But. Aspas start to wake up. Yeah, that's up. true. That's, that's true. <laughs> you can never count on Aspas. Yep. <laughs> Definitely had a slower start here in regulation. At some point was only at 13 kills while yeah. Oxy was at 20, yeah. and this time he's at 24. Duelists now making and putting work for both of these teams. Now backs against the wall, Leviathan running the same type of defense. Tex trying to hold up Catwalk. Mazzino trying to get wall bangs here from Mark it Points into the top of Cat. Knife will actually spot the duelist. See if they get the play here. Waiting for the pop flash bounce from Zeppa as soon as the smoke clears. And I think we get Oxy into tree. Okay, different type of wall here too, but it gets instantly broken, so no time to react! Ooh. And then funnels in Oxy. Tex gets the easy kill. And that's a beautiful first blood now for Leviathan. Big flash now, Oxpa's blinded at dice. C9 closing in. Vanity using his own smoke as for cover. But then just seeing Rooney run through. Aspas gets a second chose number. Ready. That's in the end so far. Enough while pops it out. But Tex steals the kill. And we're tied once again. Overtime. Each round is so confidently swung <laughs> in favor of the other team as we go back and forth. Like, oh, perfect, yeah, yeah, they're gonna get that next one. No, Leviathan snapped back that hard. Round 29 now between C9 and Lev as we get into our third round of OT here. It looks like it's gonna be a big stack up by C9 over towards B. They'll play the retake A and that's what Lev has their eyes set on. They are behind Aspas on these attacks, so wherever we see him going, they'll follow just behind the wall. That's not going to be damaged, bitten chipped out. Looks scary. It looks yeah, that scary looked like it was going to be uh, one and done, or somebody done, rather. Uh, but that was calm on the other end there, and again, just holding it close. He knew that last time there was a late push with an operator from Oxy, but this time around, C9 are playing a full rifle around with that Odin in the hands of Moose. Full B. I don't think we've seen the Vietan do a death ball into sight here. It looks like they're going to draw out the time of the round. See if somebody will peek, kill the peeker, and then take the hit. This king set up with Noya. They're not even going to run the time down that much. They're just going to hit. Oh, but everything missed. There is that wall to come out towards the lane, but it's funneled into all that might oh, wave set up by oh, Moose. Okay. It comes up, keeps it at bay. Moose falls down at the same time, though, but Leviathan has contested and taken over this B site. Oh, she almost got some wall bang kills there. 
Tank's now pushing up on the other end at the staircase. A one for one. 3v3 now. Spike planted. As it gets planted, the reposition by Leviathan. Calm stays towards the B main. Oxy with the dash, but cannot use it. So for C9, they're breaking the wall. Calm now finally gets spotted. Hopper is moving out. Oxy running on the other end. Gets that pick. Blade Storm now available. Crouch again. Gets the kill there on to King. As it's with Zeno alone, Zemba gets the pick. And we continue to go back and forth in this game on the third map. These rounds are chaos. Uh, Oxy with the peaks almost. I don't think he wanted to get on that wall after he saw it was on the other side, but still goes for the peak. Side. And just being on the other side of the wall, he delayed three members of Lev wanting to get into sight. They're all like, wait, he's going to come over again. He's going to come over again. Gets the peak on main with the cloud burst to enter. And Seppa has had some incredible personal rounds there. Brings up two on his own to enter the site, even though he had the backup. C9, back on game point. Lev continues to strike from the defensive side with fierceness. Can they do it again? It's gonna be a push here. Aspas, A main control doesn't come right away and they go right back to tree control. Cloud9 is gonna run the same strat from Lev's book just There's last round. No Odin here for Calm. And the knife comes out. They're trying to clear it out here towards the B main. Instant Didn't get in. the ping there onto Mizino. Forced to fall back. Calm does get the pick onto Rudy though. Holding his spot towards the lane. Aspas blue to rescue to help out as well. One for one. Moose is alone trying to get some lucky kills with his sprays. But this is looking like a done deal. Aspas hunting it down, continuing the OTs. Well, let's go. We don't have to worry about anybody hitting the draw button on this one. We're Switching keeping sides. this oh, one God. rolling. 31 rounds to come in after this one. The buyback comes through. Nobody's really flexed the operator except for Oxy on one round. It does not feel like it wants to be the play anymore. They know the site's going to get hit and they want retake ability. So ops seem to be out of the question right now. 15 to 15. They're keeping King on 30, but like you said, Aspas is heating up and that could be very scary for the side of C9. The 4-1 across the board for Leviathan's attack here as they're just looking for a bit of early util and to prop Aspas up with these orbs. Yeah, it's been a change of pace this time around too for Leviathan because they realized that the instant they popped the flash, they weren't getting too much contention out, outside of A main. So it allows here for Aspas to pick up the orb right away. Pivoting back now towards this B site, maybe trying to control both. King staying behind right now to get the information, waste out the utility out of Cloud9. They'll take anything right now, Vance. Yeah. They'll take anything, even if it recharges as a signature. They want to see abilities get used before Lev oh. hits the site. Oxy's about to walk through towards main. There's that wall up in the execution attempt towards B. Oxy able to fall back. Boom, Moose is ready. Falls behind, yeah, nice little wall bang there with the Odin as Vanity gets another pick. Two coming out towards the lane and a beautiful paranoia. For him to fall back. Oh, As they're rotating back towards Cat. Zeppa is waiting right there to TP across. There's that trade off. That's the spike down once again. Hot flash on their hand, just trying to escape. Meanwhile, Aspas has picked up the spike, and he's also the last player standing. <laughs> 23 left on the clock. One kill gets him a showstopper. Zeppa just waiting out in the open. And then the story continues. The story continues. Zeppa locks down another round from that defensive side for him and Lev. Match point. We'll switch it up. We are indeed on to match point. Would you believe it? <laughs> As we see this play again. Crack some Red Bulls, chat, because this yeah. feels like it's going to be a long day. Oh. 30 seconds. Oh. The landing readjust. Rush A! Rush A! Rush A! <laughs> They're all ready for the play. They have to be having uh, a very good time on stage right now. 230 bombs now between the side of Lev. Aspas is caught up to King. And that's the thing. King and he still might surpass us. Yeah, so that this point. is one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven rounds. And just assists coming through for King. So they're yeah. really able to shut him down. <laughs> Looks like we're just going to have to do a little bit of a cleanup here. Oh, there's, a, there's a spill on the stage. As of you know, Okay. Players okay. are hyped up. Yeah, Players yeah, yeah. are hyped up. Yep. Let me sure you dry out that mouse pad to continue on here in this game, but definitely just to give us a chance to talk about it, right? It's yeah. been a couple of rounds now since King had that 30 bomb. And he needs it might be the difference right now. The difference maker if he's oh. able 
to actually string a couple more kills here for Leviathan to maybe push this and win this. But at this point, him stepping up will allow Leviathan to tie up the game once more. As of course, you definitely see here, we're back in the game. Or being picked up on the attack side as they're also realizing for C9, there's not too much contention out of Leviathan. Right. From A main. Yeah. C9 wants to see a little bit. It looks like Lev is being stingy with their util. That's going to benefit them as his sight hit takes hold. They know they can just basically just wall out Cat, keep that safe. King working his legs, trying to spot towards A-Main as Zeppa is trying to do the same to get a surprise contact into Switch, but it gets insta-dinked by Osmos and forced to fall back. It's so hard to sell a fake this many OTs in. a sites the hit. And it's traded out. Once again, King denied now, anchoring towards the a site. Zeppa still low on HP. Trying to figure out who they could give the spike to for a plant. Left. He's going to plant it for A main. Beautiful Owl Drone actually spawns a couple of players up towards the A heaven as Leviathan actually has all four players and no lurks. There's grenades being thrown. There's the ADS from a few. And there's the first to fall. That's Ox in on top of Generator. Shock Guard's coming out, misses as it's trying to get towards the door. A tap on the spike that sprayed through the smoke. Continuing through, but players of C9 are still again. Down. again. Zeppa alone, and Zeppa falls with the rest. That, that looked like it was the right play from C9. Smokes are down on the side of the Vietan, playing two inside sight, two outside sight. Switching because sides. you're not going to get smoked Overtime. off, you create that other crossfire. But the shots for Lev on the retakes are hitting. Left. Great start off, too, playing tricky spots on the wall, covering each other. And even with King going down there, they still get the round and convert the 4v5 in favor of Leviathan. 16-16, round 34 on the board. It seems like C9 wants to try to fight back towards the There's a lot of things to maybe to up the tempo for Leviathan, but C9's potentially looking to do the same thing. Yeah. Walking up the contact. There's Vanity getting ready to swing out, punish! And there's a two for one in favor of Leviathan. Oh, oh. Will this get clear in the corner? The boom bot will not. As they run across, they try to clear it out. He can play this off angle. He gets one, the second sack will save him, oh, and he oh still gosh. gets King. Alpha's inside the side, forced to reload, stuck out towards the dice. A two versus two. Moose has already rotated across with Bruni though. As the owl drones out for info, knows exactly where the two players are. The first one planted, the second one towards main. Showstopper now out after the plant. Will force them to fall back. And they have to wait it out. Now that it's finally shot, but look at that positioning now from Calm. The wall up, he repositions out towards the tree, but the turret... He avoided it. And he heard the footsteps. Ospos will get the kill. It's up to Rooney alone. For the first time here, we might see an attacker side win. A tap on the spike first. There's the first shot! And the three! Rooney! The Red Bull clutch! It will give another defensive round for Cloud9 and series point one more time! Never give up! He's not missing a beat. The crispest shots side. we've seen. We can we can Next give him a little point. bit on that last one to control the recoil. But the A heaven shots he's brought in. Some of the clutches Rooney's been hitting has not missed a beat, and it's exactly what C9 needed. That right there from Zeppa was also everything. And yes, incredible. he did get the kill onto Ospos. It's still work. flicked back to at least get one more to give a chance for Rooney. That could have been a three versus one. It will give another defensive round for Cloud Mark. You said we might oh, see our first like. attack around. That's how you sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, All right, the 4-1. A good detect here coming from Ospos' Roomba or Boombot right out of B main. They know that's the lure. Oh, quick. And it's going to be hit on A. Super quick right now. C9 already inside the site. And it's open. Leviton is looking to play the retake. But they haven't crossed inside yet because everything was slowed by Texas Slow Orbs at that Sage. Double swing in. Oxy with the first blood. Rooney with the plant. Leviathan does not want to give a chance for C9 to set up as they're already throwing utility. Two up towards the heaven. Oh, oh a nice shot down. by Oxy. All done by Rooney's util. Tex answers right back through the door. A one for one, but the advantage still for C9 on this pulse plant. Calm trying to drop down, trying to get the wall bang. Finally takes down Zeppa. King dropping inside the site right now. No smoke to cover him. Molly off. There's that Molly. He half. gets it a halfway at least. 
King and Calm against Moose and Vanity. Vanity at low HP. Moose trying to fight long range. Smoke now dissipates. The backstab, but the trade. Calm now to 1v1. The pit comes out and he's dying now to the volley. But then Moose plays that lucky one. And Cloud9 closes the series. That's how you start stage one. Oh my gosh, Cloud9, 18 to 16 over Leviathan, Oxy and Ospos dropping 35 kills each. What a hell of a series. Absolutely amazing. Cloud9 showing the squad they've put together can muster up what is needed to take the win. And the questions now fall onto Leviathan. The time they had to organize these, the compositions, they were there, but they didn't come out with the WC9 able to find the win and find the way through those strategies of Leviathan. Definitely in Vanity. You just mentioned it at the interview with Smix when they were walking into the arena. Hopefully we could transfer. Not like just we did. Exactly, they're not just scrimmers today. <laughs> Winning and upsetting Leviathan in a nail-biting series. And Moose, welcome to the VZTs. That's one way to start things off. But definitely Rooney coming back and finding that he's never left. No. That guy was on point, on fire, and his util was amazing as well on this silver roll. We and saw the life of the eco wins coming back a little yep. bit for C9, Rooney, Sheriff, Oxy popping off, getting a little bit of that facilitation from his team to go forward, to do more, to be the one on the front line. And Moose coming up so big. A lot of lurks on Sunset were able to secure the rounds for C9 there that Moose was able to put into action. It almost came down was when you were watching this overtime too. It didn't matter what compositions were coming in and out. <laughs> it was so chaotic with so many good trades and fundamentals that had to come out from both of these teams. It didn't look like there was too many mistakes going on in the heat of the moment. It just came down to who really won those battles. And in the end, you definitely see it too. Like, I mean, look at that. The Sage Walls, you're expecting those here with this comp coming through. So adapting on the fly here for Cloud9. They show a lot of promise now for this split yeah. in 2024 for the BCT Americas. And it ends up, they did prevent King from getting a kill throughout that entire overtime. So they said, no, you're only a smoker right now. That's all you're offering. So big job by C9 to be able to shut down the shot caller in that aspect. Definitely see it there. <laughs> How hyped up we are towards the end for C9 on that victory. <laughs> It looks like we're trying to do some sort of flying V at this point, and that was Moose that started things off when he walked on stage for the first time, and Vanity closing it in as the Dude, IGL for the Moose, team. Yeah, Moose walked out on the stage today. If you didn't see the walkouts, feeling it, pointing to the crowd, getting pumped. He is excited to be here, and we see why. Well, at least now let's throw it down to Smix with the Verizon post-match interview. Thank you very much, Van Silly and Rivington, and congratulations, Zeppa. What, thank you, thank you. What an amazing game to kick off stage one, going up against a team like Leviathan. You yourself and your team had to go through some roster changes, so there were some questions in the air, like how is it going to be looking? And after map number one, when we spoke to Coach Emmy, he said that this is not how the practices have gone. In fact, the scrims have been ridiculously in your favor, and we saw that on maps two and three. So now that you've had a chance to catch your breath after Ascent, tell us what's going through your head. Um, obviously, I'm happy for the win. That was a long BO3. Um, I feel bad for Energy and uh, Furia because they had to wait so long. <laughs> But, um, hey, oh, la my bad, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm glad my, my team has pulled through and, you know, we stuck through it and everybody was confident the whole time. We believe we we're going to win, so happy we pulled through. It was amazing to see that resilience because let's just talk about that last map on Ascent. It went over time, over time, over time, but it all started on that first half where it started out with Leviathan having a massive lead up six to one, but then we saw C9 really be, uh, be able to pull it together. Moose having some crazy impact rounds as well. So what started to click for you guys? Um, obviously after losing round by round, we had to like slowly come to a solution and like figure out how they play because it's not a normal comp that people play. Obviously, it's like the first time we saw the comp. So we're like, you know, we knew it was going to be a struggle in the beginning, but we had to find it out, find the solutions. But um, I'm happy everybody chimed in and tried to, try to find the solution. At the end, we did. Speaking of that comp, you know, how annoying was it to, to deal with the Sage Walls and just playing around this style that you yourself just said? You haven't seen it really before. So what was that like? Um, like I, it was just, we knew 
with that comp on defense that is going to be really slow we had to drag out the rounds and like find out where people are but um at the end of the day like i said my teammates pulled through and uh we, we believe we're gonna win so i would say that ice fox map was a fluke but Coach Ami said the same, and you know what? You showed it on that last map when it mattered most on Ascents. For now, Zeppa, thank you so much for taking the time. You guys thank are you looking guys. damn it. good. We are going to head to a short commercial break, but as you heard from Zeppa himself, we are going to see Energy versus Lao. It's very, very soon, so see you there. Here we go. Hey guys, it's Jimmy Lin. In this series, I'm going to walk you through Attack on Pearl. Watch out for the stairs, clear this angle. You're going to be able to fight this. Look what I've just made. The perfect pearl. Not too bad, but check this out. <sighs> Whoa, a true Venus clam. Red Bull gives you wings. Thank <laughs> you. 